Hello mga kawillers at mga wanderlust spirits na kagaya namin. Welcome po sa aming bagong vlog. We will be exploring the beauty of Splendor Hills. We went to Splendor Hills the 30th of December. We spent our last days of 2023 and New Year of 2024 at this campsite. Napakaganda po ng Splendor Hill at papakita namin sa inyo ang surroundings at kung gano'n siya kaganda. At the same time, meron po tayong interview with Miss Rose, may-ari ng Splendor Hill. Ganun din po kay Mr. Alex na may-ari din. Mag-asawa sila, sila ang may-ari ng Splendor Hill. And we will all share with you this journey. Okay, so just a brief... Uh, by, by, by the way, hello, hi, and uh, thank you for um, coming to Spender Hills. Actually, Spender Hills just started this year only, last February. February lang siya start We had some group of friends who were into camping already, but we did not know. So they just wanted to come and spend the night here. We had the pool there, and then they just wanted to just, you know, pitch some tents. But this Splendor Hills, why it was called Splendor Hills, it has a unique story. Story. Um, the unique story is that my husband dreamt of this place 20 years ago. Wow. So that's why I was telling you earlier, nothing is impossible if you have a dream. So, got married to my wife in Locos. Then I would just want to cut quickly so it's not going to be a very long story. Okay. Suddenly, we moved to, to Santa Rosa Laguna. Yeah. When I got married to my wife, we had a honeymoon in a place called San Fernando La Union. I had a dream. You see like that mountain there? I saw a guy on top. In that dream? In that dream. He's calling, Alex! I was down in the valley. I don't know where that place is. And I was saying, what? He was saying, come here! I started climbing from the mountain. When I reached the top of the mountain, I saw a guy. He looked ordinary. I was trying to understand the guy. I cannot understand him. He told me, look around. At that time, I don't know there's a place called Tangas. I don't know place Laguna. I don't know. We are in Locos. I'm just new. He, he showed me the valleys and the mountain everywhere. He told me, this place here, I am giving it to you. As far as your eyes can see, I'll draw many people They will come here. And people who come here, they will find peace. And then he said this word. On this same place, I will display the splendor of my glory. That is where the word splendor is landed. So from there on, it was a journey. It was, we did not do anything. Now, I went out of the dream. I woke up my wife. She was still sleeping. I told her about the dream. We forgot about it. We, it, we went back to Australia, we came back, we did missions, came back. So the time we, we left Viga and moved to Santa Rosa, a flood came. I was so sad. I said, if I ever I'm going to rent another house, I must rent a place that's really high, that a flood will never reach me. So we go on. So I, started, I got a job. I started saving some money. It went on. Then I started feeling like renting Renting is not a good thing. So, we went to Tanai. I was looking for a place that's a little bit high. Look for a place that's a little bit cool. I don't know there's a place but Tangas. I don't know there's a place called Tanai and I don't know. What's your brother? We went up to Tanai, we went to Antipolo, we went even to, to Bulacan, we went to look for a place, we went to Halaala, we went there. I was looking for a place. I did not have that much money though. I was saving it. I said, I wish I could find another place. So the place in Santa Rosa where we are renting, she said, did you ever go to a place called uh, Batangas? It's a very nice place. There are some beaches there. So is Batangas? I do not know. Yes. 
So finally, we got to Tanawan. I mean, we did not even plan to have a camping place. That's why we owe a lot. <laughs> oh my God, to Car Camping Philippines because we got known at Car Camping Philippines the first time. That's why God used Car Camping Philippines to open up Splendor Hills as a camping site because I don't know what will happen after this. Eh? Another door may open, maybe I don't know. But it started with Car Camping Philippines. So after this, I don't know what will happen. God only knows. God only knows because God led you. Yes, it was Him who led us in, so, in this journey. Okay. You know what? Um, our mission is to connect people to God through nature. This is nature. This is God's creation. So we want everybody to enjoy God's handiwork. Um, we are not wanting, you know, to to keep this to ourselves. So since people are coming here, they enjoy nature. That gives us happiness. That when they come here, they say, ah, yes. That's a big that's thing for idea. yeah. That's a big thing for us. Na wow. I mean, they enjoy the place. So we will always keep on, you know, trying to offer this to anybody who wants to come. You're invited here. If you haven't tried, please come and enjoy God's nature because this is His. It's not doesn't belong to us. <laughs> it's His, His, and we're willing to share it to everybody. Thank you. Very good. Thank, Thank you very you much, all. Lisa. <laughs>